Thanks for joining us. The man accused of kidnapping and killing a five year old Minnesota girl could face charges tomorrow. Authorities found Elena Ertl's body after a nine hour statewide Amber Alert on Saturday. Her parents today called her a great friend to everyone she met who always gave the best hugs. Investigators say 25 year old Zach Anderson took her from the family home. He was there as a guest of her parents. They say Anderson stole the family's vehicle and took the girl more than an hour north to an area of Cass County where his family owns property. Tips from the public helped police find Anderson. Authorities say he then led officers to a wooded area where they found the girl's body. Members of the Watkins community told Nina Moyney they're trying hard to focus on the happiness and light Elena brought to those around her. This is uh, very hurtful and painful and tragic. And Oftentimes, there aren't words that do much good during those times. But prayers have been pouring in since Saturday from this tight knit community. Father Aaron Nett, who spoke to us by phone, has met with the Ertl family several times during these earliest days of a difficult grieving process. It's just important that we let those that are hurting know that we support them. The family is holding on tight to happy memories of Elena. In a eulogy included in her funeral announcement, her parents wrote, Elena gave joy to our lives by always having a smile and kind words to say. She was an animal lover, a princess, a singer, a great friend to everyone she met, and was our peanut. She loved learning from her brother and always gave the best hugs. They're hurting. They're hurting a lot. The parents told investigators they woke up Saturday to find their daughter was gone. So was Zach Anderson, who was staying with the family. Anderson's public criminal history shows his only past run-ins with law enforcement were over traffic violations. All weekend, Meeker County authorities and the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension worked to find out why this happened. A tragedy for which words of comfort are hard to find. People that hear this could just continue to pray for them and support them. Charges could come down tomorrow by noon. A vigil is also planned tomorrow for the public at 8.30 p.m. in the St. Anthony Catholic Church parking lot there in Watkins. Also, a visitation is planned for Thursday and Friday at a funeral home in Watkins. The funeral is Friday morning at that same church as the vigil, St. Anthony Catholic Church, Frank. Tragic stuff. Thank you, Nina. If you would like to support the Ertl family, you'll find a GoFundMe page at WCCO.com slash links.